everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome my name is Arlene and today I'm going to be reviewing these DIY lash clusters but let's go ahead and get right into this so they are by this brand right here so it does say it is a mixed curl length it has 176 pieces it says cluster lash one cluster lash applicator it comes with a cluster lash bond and seal and a cluster lash remover. It does look like something has leaked in the package. I'm assuming that it's probably the remover. So I'm going to open it up on the side and just kind of slide it out. Yeah, so the lash remover did leak out and it did come with a spoolie as well. It looks like it still has a lot in there, but it did leak out, which is... It's actually really cold, so I'm really surprised that it leaked out. Sometimes, like in the summertime, when I buy lash remover, it does leak out, but it's usually because it just gets so hot that it kind of leaks out. Um, but it's actually been quite cold, so that's the first time that I've actually had one leak out when it was actually cold outside. I'm just cleaning up the thing. So that's the remover, which I won't be using today anyway. Then it comes with the bond and seal. This is the um, applicator, and then you have your lashes right here. And it looks like it has two different sets, like types of lashes. This one, this one's like more wispy than this one, but they're both like really pretty. These are a little more dominant, so they're gonna like be a little more bold. This is gonna look a little more natural, and it has 16 to 10. So it has one 16, two 14s, three 12s, and two 10s. Um, one 16, two 14s, three 12s, and two 10s right there as well. I'll probably be applying these since they are more natural and that's what most people are gonna gravitate to. But let's go ahead and start applying. I usually will do three 16, two 14, and two 12, but we'll see how it goes. I'll let you guys know as I'm going along. So you wanna start out with a bond and it tells you right there. And then this side is the seal. I don't always use a seal. I usually only use a seal if my lashes are sticky. Um, sometimes when I apply them, they're not sticky at all. That's why I don't use it, but um, you can use it every time if you want. And I'll show you how to use it towards the end. So this is what the glue looks like. And all you're gonna do, like a white hair right there. Like an all white hair growing out of my lashes. So I just like to kind of dab this more towards the bottom. So just like that. And I don't push it all the way in because I'm going to be putting it behind the lashes as well. So I got my tweezers and I like to grab them from like the bottom and then kind of pull up. So I'm gonna pre-pull out the ones that I want. So I want three of those. Now the first lash, I don't have to apply the glue to the lash because it's gonna get on my lash entirely. So I really won't have to. So what I do is I kind of look down. And I just place it like that. Kind of got on my bottom lash right there. So I'm gonna reposition it. So I glue them from underneath. And you don't want to exactly touch the hole. I'm gonna replace that again. I don't like them being completely onto my skin so it doesn't poke. So I go a little bit above that just like that and then you're going to get the glue and you're going to put it on the top of it since we're gluing from underneath just like that so that if you kind of stack it it's going to have glue on it to stick to the lash beside it because I slightly overlap them I have glue on this now Okay, so I'm gonna do the two 14s now. Okay, 
so I'm actually going to do three 14s because like looking at it, it looks like I need one more before I start in with the 12s. So that's what I'm going to do. And now we're going to go start with the 12s. Okay, so that's what it looks like on, and then I let them kind of sit a little bit, and then I will go through and just like pinch them down with these, like to my lashes. So I'll just go through and then pinch them like that. You can see how sticky that glue really is. Okay, so that's what it looks like, and then you can take your little spoolie and just kind of brush them through. And then with the sill, all you're going to do is flip it to the sill side. And it's going to be like a clear stuff. And then you just take it. You don't want to brush it through your lash, like the whole lash, because it'll make it crispy. You just kind of do it towards the bottom. And it'll make it to where they don't stick to anything. So as you can see, this is before. This is after. It's crazy the difference they do make. I do like these ones. I think I'm going to like this set better because I personally like a more wispy lash. These are a lot bolder than they look like they were going to be. Um, so I will do another video on these ones. If you guys want to see that, don't forget to subscribe so that you guys can see that because I will be doing another update on that side once these ones fall off. But I think they're super pretty. Um, definitely better and way more affordable than getting them professionally done. Let me go ahead and finish this side and I'll show you what it looks like once I'm done. Okay, so as you can see, that's what it looks like with both lashes on. I actually forgot to put the seal on this side, so let me go ahead and do that. You see, like, it's not sticky at all, so that's why usually I don't apply it, because if it's not sticky, you really don't need it. So, but you can apply it regardless, but I usually only apply it if it's sticky, but I usually apply them pretty good to where it doesn't get glue everywhere. Now, these usually last me, like lashes, um, two to three weeks, depending on how well I take care of them. Um, probably after the first week, like I start washing them, I have like a, some lash soap that you squirt on top and it has like, it almost looks like an eyeshadow brush and you kind of cleanse them. I do do that. Sometimes when I do that, like a lash or two will fall off and I just pick them up clean off the glue and then just glue them back on. You can apply a new one. You don't have to glue the same one on if it does do that. Sometimes nothing falls off. This one right here is like a little poking, so it's making it like a little itch itchy. So it's like slightly poking because I got it too close to my skin. But these are not bad looking. Um, probably not my favorite pair that I've ever worn um, just because I like them to be a little more wispy. These are kind of just straight up. Um, but it does give like kind of like a cat eye effect the way I applied them. Like I said, I did do three 16, three 14, and then two 12s on both sides. And it just kind of gives it a more like kind of layered look to where it's longer out here. And then it kind of goes in. And I do like that. That's my favorite way to apply them. So we'll see how long they last. But yeah, that completes this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. God bless.